I thought the first thing we should check out from this patch or the thing that I'm most interested in and is um, very new to this game is a new type of weapon system or a weapon. In 1.79, we are getting introduced to a guided bomb called the Fritz X. And the way it worked is, at least to my understanding, it was a radio controlled bomb. And what would happen is that the HG triple one or whatever plane housed it, they had to slow down as they dropped it. So the bomb would navigate in front of the bombardier and then he would guide it in to the target. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to check it out on the HE111 and we might move on to a better platform to house the Fritz X just so we can do more bombing strikes. So modification, as you can see, it's kind of your your normal torpedo, dumb, normal dumb bomb. But as you get a little, hang on, we need to get, actually I think we need it. There we go. Get that compressor. Dumb bomb. And here it is. Allows installation of radio guided glide bombs. Ooh, bombs. Maybe we can get two in here. FX 1400. So we'll purchase that. And let's go ahead and load it up right now. Only one, I believe. Okay, only one. Yeah, confirmed. There's, there's none in the bomb bay. Look, I can't believe this is in game. I really can't believe. So if this is added... And this is supposed to be an anti-ship bomb, at least to my knowledge. But uh, I think we're going to probably kill some tanks with it today. See if it is effective at killing at extremely high altitudes. Or not, well, more, you know, more accurate than, you know, dumb bombing and hoping someone stays still. If this is at it, they kind of opened a can of worms. And it depends. It depends on how they implement other things. But it, it could be bad worms or it could be good. What one we're going to use, though, is... The HE-177, and this one is a much bigger bomber. And with that, we can fit many more. I think it's three in total. So here's the FX-1400 and three of them. So we have three chances to get these bombs on target. Now, let's go to the modifications and check out what this bomb has to offer to us. Ooh. Ooh. I thought they would be a little. Yeah, look at that. Look at that small TNT. I mean, it's a lot. 320 kilograms of pure TNT. But if you look at, let's say, how much does this bomb weigh? So at 1,500 or 1,600 kilograms mass, total mass it has. If you look at the mass on the 1,800 kilogram um, SC bomb, SC1, 1,000 of that is TNT explosive. Only... 320 is ours. And I think because a lot of it, there's, you know, a lot of other components that make this plane, or excuse me, make this bomb work. It has to guide. It has to receive radio signals. It has to has has to have um, elevators and uh, control surfaces to be able to guide down. It's not a dumb bomb. It's a, it's a, well, it's a smart, not a dumb bomb. Let's go ahead and take this on the test flight. We'll bring it up to altitude and then we'll hop into a custom battle and we're going to bomb some tanks from like maybe like 3,000 meters. Here we go. Full power. I really wish uh, they updated like the, the test flight ability. So like if you want it to, you know, spawn at 5,000 meters, you just hit a button. Now, while we're climbing or taking off, we'll put some uh, takeoff laps on. I really have to play this plane out in a uh, in a um, video like a formation here's our first test we're at, we're at about 1300 meters get in the bomb bay view okay nice and level and drop manual aim bomb control see oh look at that where's the bomb i don't even see the bomb it should have, it should have a flare on the end of it oh there it is it has a flare on the end of it Boom. Huh, it didn't give me a boom. So I think how it works is that you're going to fly your bomber over the target, obviously. Get him in the pipper, and then that kind of like like square of uh, non-connecting white lines is kind of 
how much leeway the Fritz X has. So we're going to put it right on this dark mark. And it's on the way. And as we can see, there it goes. There's the flame. Where's, where's my bomber at, by the way? There it is. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Then we can make it. Okay, that's y'all left. Y'all right. And that's down. And see how I can change the trajectory of the uh, bomb in midair. Now, the thing is, I have to change my key bindings because they are completely wrong. I'm using like left to go up and right to go down. We're going to see if we can uh, aim for the bridge, but miss it last second. Because these white non-connecting lines, I believe, is the glide box for this bomb. Okay, it's perfectly on it. Not perfectly, but it's kind of close. So we have... Whoa, this thing's going to drop like a mamma hammer. Left, right, and we're going to see if we can bring it a little bit more inside the bridge. Could we drop it on the aft? Yeah, look at that. Look at how much we just changed it. We went from the very end of the bridge to um, almost the beginning. Now, how effective this is at killing tanks? Probably not that much. At killing ships, a much bigger target. So we're going to go and hop into a um, tank RB. Now, I don't know if it was a bug, but I wasn't getting a detonation on the bomb. So, ah, this would be a big problem here. Assault fuse. Or just we'll just do a 0, 0.0 second uh, bomb just because we're not going to even be even near the target. And when it hits, we wanted to hit it perfectly or detonate right when it goes. Okay, Fritz X is on line three on the way. Now let's go and hunt some tanks. Now the naive side of me thought these things would be a little bit more guiding, but it makes sense, you know, of their limitations here. Okay, enemy tank spotted. Now we're going to drop before and guide it in. No, or we'll just put it on the number. MBT, Saber. Say goodbye, friend. Hang on, almost there. Like, we gotta be spot on with this thing. Because of low TNT. We'll just drop in the general area. Bomb away. Oh, one's right on the money. Okay, let's wait for the bomb. Who is shooting me right now? Come on, back gunners, get him. I don't see the bomb. There it is, there it is. Right, 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 right. Oh! <laughs> yes, dude. What is... Oh, we got biplanes inbound. Hang on, we might need to uh, get rid of these guys before we can do anything else. I wonder if I can just... Wait, if we keep going high, right? Like, can we like throw this bomb? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> I think we need to be a little bit faster than that. <laughs> oh man. Actually, that might work. Let's see here. Cause I have my maximum for control and you can see when I do it, it throws the reticle up a little bit. And if we press spacebar at that point, the camera should be able to lock it down. Okay, let's see where these tanks are. And I would really like to show you guys some ship footage. Unfortunately, we, we can't use that in the dev server yet. So like right here. No. We're going to drop it right here. Hey. Oh, look at it getting smaller and bigger. Okay, it's out. The, the tanks are to our front left a little bit. Okay, bring the camera down. So we need, we need to go up and left. Nope, we didn't use we didn't use it in time. Okay, so it should reset. Right when it drops, we're gonna go full back. Try to glide it as best as possible. And the more altitude we have, the better. So let's get a little bit more. What's kind of crazy to me though is that I don't know if they boost it like bomb performance or anything like that, but for our first strike, it completely pulverized two tanks 
with only 330 kilograms of explosives. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's different types of TNT. All right, flaps up in the bomb bay. Okay, we're at 1,800 meters. I don't see those tanks. Oh, now I do. They're very, very, very small. Okay, we're going to drop over here. And we're going to go full left. Okay, there we go. We're, we're, we're on full left here. And because we... That, uh, tri or that line on our left side, that I think is the, the maximum... It can go. Oh, it got so close to it. Hit. And I think the faster your bomber's going, the more responsive the bomb will be because the uh, more air or the velocity is increased. Yeah, yeah, you can see the uh, reticle getting bigger and smaller. Full left. Full left. No, no. Oh, I was using the wrong key bindings last game. That's why everything was wonky. Okay. We are full left here. Maybe, maybe a little bit down too. Da -da 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 Three tanks down. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, that's 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 amusing. Again, not that you know practical for tanks, but a slow moving ship. I can see why they really wanted to develop something like this. And being at the being at an altitude, um, much higher up. And I feel like the zoom could be a little bit further in too. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do one more run here. I wonder what happens when we drop all three at one time. Like, are we able to guide all of them? <laughs> Germany had a, a multi-thread computer in here doing all the work. I-7 confirmed. Okay, I think they're back in the same spot. Okay, so now we're going even faster. Yeah, the glide box gets bigger with more airspeed. See, we're going to put it on the very left side. Okay, bombs out. You got to press so many buttons. It looks off. A little bit down too. No, that that's an off one. One more. One more. Come on. <laughs> now with this one, we're going to stay in the bomb view only and guide it in. I think they're right around that little dark spot on the road. That was our, well, our multiple bombing. The bombs hit. Okay, nice and easy. Let's just watch this thing guide all the way in. Okay, a little off target, but that's something that we can easily fix. Now, when we press up... Oh, wow, that... Does it change the mark? Oh, yeah, as you press up, you can... Yeah, see how it changes? Now we'll go a little bit to the left. Oh, we got it. Down. Oh, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. I don't think we can get it there. Yes! Yes, we got it! So, in the bomb view, each little correction you have... Hang on, let's drop another one. Um, so, oh, there's really not really good landmarks to really look at here. Let's just go for this... Um, uh, maybe this tree? Or we'll, we'll try to bomb that tree. Okay, so you see how we're off on that tree? And we're going to bomb the right one. We'll press right... And it'll change a little bit right, more right, more right, more right. And see, I'll get a little bit closer, closer. Now we need to go down and to the right. And you can see it just a little bit in the bottom of the screen right now. You see it incoming? Oh, we th I think we dropped two at the same time. Perfect. Okay. Maybe this was a little tutorial on how to use it as well. Um, fucking amazing. Um, with this being added, they're going to add a lot of other different nations uh, guided bombs and stuff. 
So, lock on missiles confirmed. I'm just kidding, guys. Fellas, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more depths of our footage. Peace out.